Welcome everyone. Welcome back to the stream. To today's stream actually. Um hmm. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different than usual. Today no gaming today. Let me think for a second. Uh there is Frost, uh, how is it called? Frosty, to Frosty Tools, there we go. Um, we are going to do some special stuff. Namely, we are going to think on my uh, streaming setup. Uh, videos? No. I want to access the stream stuff. Let's see. Uh, Skolba. I wanted to edit some of this. This call bar that's at the top of your screen right now? Crap. Oh, I just got reminded that I forgot something. Let me see. Studio mode. Assets. Which one is it? Uh, gallery? No, it's not gallery. Copy. Paste. Yes, good. Mm. Where am I putting this? Do I put that up there? Yeah, that'll do. There we go. That seems balanced, I guess. I'm gonna lock it in place and put it in the widget with the all all of the other widgets for the for this scene. So try the bucketry. Okay, I'm gonna copy all of this, paste everything here, and we're gonna see. Crap. Yeah, we're gonna see where it stops. Wait, no, not this one. Ah, okay, it was just a line behind. Okay. So, we have the promo line at the top of the screen. We've got try the bucket redeem, need help for uh, for the commands, send a TTS message, join the Discord, links to my platforms, support the arcade project. What else could we add? Hmm. Actually, it's probably a good idea to show you guys what I've got in my streamer bot uh, 
interface. I've got all of these commands. Okay, those do not work. They are just te testing stuff. Uh, those commands are not for you guys. They are for testing. You do not even try to use them. I've restricted them only to my use only. Uh, moderation say speak ban. Did I? Yes, it's only allowed for mods and VIPs. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, I'm going to check who is in the chat. And it tells me Nightbot is here. Nightbot should have a dashboard somewhere. Where, where did I put the Nightbot? Nightbot dashboard. This is made by the same guys who made... Um, uh, better TTV night bot okay login login with Twitch let's see Message is 190. What? There was that many chats yesterday? 150, 150. Wait, no. And to this, there was 37 messages. Oh, okay. Today I was doing testing earlier in, in chat. So that explains why. Recent events. This is a f coming soon video of, Dash of Nightbot. Commands custom, command default. Allow user to get a list of commands and moderator to manage commands. I'm gonna disable that because I don't need a Nightbot's commands. Show stream can game and allows moderators to modify it. Okay, pop out the chat. Let's see this. So if I do game, can game is triggering just chatting. That's all it does? Really? Well, that's disappointing. I'm gonna disable this command then. I mean, if people cannot w read the the stream title and the sub the category title, I don't really see the point of this command. Create a stream marker in your channel to easily read on later. Let's see the documentations on that one. Uh, marker. Okay, the marker command allows you and your viewers to create Twitch stream markers to mark parts of your stream that you wish to return to later. Huh. Okay. I see, I think. But like, if you put a marker, what is what it is it going to do? What does it do? Very strange stuff. Streamer mode. Enable streamer mode. Okay. Uh, okay, so Nightbot has commands. Let's see what else we have. So we have game, we have marker. I'm I was moderator to manage spam filters within the chat. Filters. No filter specified, possible values, blacklist, caps, emotes, links, repetition symbols. Oh right, I saw those earlier. I'm gonna disable this command because I 
don't think I will need night bots filters. I already have Twitch moderation, Twitch, uh, Twitch, um, uh, what's the name of that thing? They, they gave it a, a particular name, a name in particular just for that feature. Let's see. Settings, moderation, auto mod, right. They called it auto mod. But, uh, hmm, how to say? It seems to be good at what it does, but it doesn't seem to be able to do much. At least, we have seemingly no metric in the dashboard. We, we don't have any much metric to go by about uh, Automod's effectiveness. And it's not really that customizable. When you look at Streamerbot, however, you can see that I can set up moderation actions and there is... Uh, I have bot detections, I have special filters set in those uh, for my own use. Um, I can set the filters I want at my own discretion is what I mean. Which is honestly leagues better than just a saying yes, set X level of moderation and uh, hope the big black box in which um, Twitch uh, sets up the, the filters do what you want them to do because you don't know what it does. And uh, yeah, it's probably good, but we have no idea what's in it. We don't know how it works. If at least we had some insight into how it works, it would be it would probably pro profit everyone. Now that said, uh, Twitch has Twitch alerts, of course, and it's honestly really good uh, at what it does. I've been using a mix of Twitch alerts and sound alerts, and Eventually, I'm, I will move everything from sound alerts to Twitch alerts. I will keep sound alerts, but not for the official alerts. Um, I'll figure out how to do what I want to do. Uh, how to transit from uh, sound alerts to Twitch alerts for the, the stream alerts. But yeah, sound alerts will, will stay as a soundboard uh, thing. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I've been adding a few more features to my Streambot configuration today. I've been... They just... Uh, in this beta preview... Wait, no. It was in beta 4. They did that at the beginning of the week, I think. In beta 4, they added create Twitch, create predictions. Get active prediction? I don't know what it does yet. Um, you know what? We're going to find out. Duplicate. Get prediction. Twitch. Get active prediction. Core test. Okay. If, let's say for the sake of an example, I start this prediction. Let's see. And now, when channel points as you make the card prediction? Okay. Right, okay. The second put, uh, streamers can cast prediction on their own channel. Well, that makes sense. They could put an infinite amount of channel points and uh, even skew the results by doing the outcome they want. So this is the prediction I set up for the out of action. If I'm in a lobby for out of action, I set that up. If I try get prediction, test action cues, action history, get prediction, prediction idea. Okay, prediction users, prediction points. Okay, I see.
So I can figure out, depending on the choice, uh, on depending on the number of choices, um, how many people are voting for each, and I can probably find a way to make a widget out of, out of this. Uh, there's probably people who have already made widgets for depending on the state of predictions. But honestly, it's literally spawning in chat for everyone to see and vote in. So uh, it's probably at this time, it's probably redundant. I don't have enough viewers for people to vote in predictions when I when I uh, start one. Well, I haven't started one yet ever, but it's going to become uh, eventually. Yeiko, welcome to the chat. How are you doing? I'm gonna close the prediction for the time being. I don't need it. Uh, prediction. Back pain, breakfast was cheesecake, starvation. What about me? Um. Back pain as well. Uh, breakfast was no breakfast. Uh, lunch was a can of. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean old? You're younger than me, and you also have back pain. Lunch was a can of monster, and yeah, <laughs> I didn't have starvation. I ate very well, but uh, ugh, my back is killing me. I'm sipping on, sipping on coffee right now. I've had no other meals than that cheesecake. Damn. I'll get something else then. Okay, the prediction closed. Prediction was started three minutes ago, waiting for a result. How do I end a prediction? I'm broke. Yeah, but okay, fair enough. Stream. A stream marker. Add markers while you're live and use them later. A stream marker with description. Clip that. I already have a clip button. Yes, I do. Edit stream information, stop right for an hour. Start a prediction. Choose outcome. Okay, I can delete the prediction. Delete and return points. Yes. I decided, as you can see, I decided to not play today. I am tinkering with my streaming setup. I'm too exhausted to spend energy on gaming tonight. <laughs> uh. Okay, so everything works for now. We're gonna wait for streamer bots to have further updates uh, because at this time when you go to Twitch integration prediction you have only create prediction and get active prediction. But unlike the polls, the polls have archive, uh, have create poll, terminate poll, get active poll, archive, archive active poll. We do not have anything else for predictions. We can close uh, a prediction. I mean, technically we can, we just can't yet because it's not implemented as a function to stream about for the time being. Uh, we cannot decide the result yet. I'm not sure how how they're gonna solve the the result outcome. How the um, uh, predicted outcome can be achieved through streamer bot actions. Yeah. Um, I listen to music now. Bye bye. See you. See you around. Uh, 
Okay, so active prediction works. I don't know why I would use that function because yeah, I have no hmm, I have no action selection system widget or whatever that depends on those uh, on the data that comes out of uh, fetching the active prediction or fetching active anything actually. So I don't need that. I'm gonna remove it real quick. Uh, the test functions do work, so that's good. Oh, I know. Okay, this, I have manual triggers that I want to set up. I have all of these for the games I'm, I'm going to play with. The thing is, I need an action to disable all predictions and leave only the one uh, related to the game active. Like if I if I switch over to project room and th this action is set to uh, trigger on my deck, so I can press the button to go to the stream for project room one. And yeah, that this is this switches data. It drops. Uh, I do not. There is no drop active for Project Ringman, so it removes the drop enabled tag in the stream's description. There's this action to toggle the I uh, to put the eye break redeem in queue mode because Project Ringman, since it's a it's it's um game that's too active to properly redeem that the that one trigger i put it in queue so that between two missions or two deaths or whatever i can just have a look at my deck and i see that someone redeemed the break and i then can trigger it uh, so this is the queue mode when it's not an such an active game it's in direct mode like in bitcraft it is yeah, a break direct, as you can see. Uh, this is Project Wingman is not a VR game. If I go to Steam VR, you can see that it is Project Wingman. Remove the channel tag. Actually, I'm likely to be playing uh, Project Wingman much more in VR mode than not. Next direction. Okay, VR on. Oh, okay. VR off. Remove tracking. Yeah, okay. It's a change I made recently. I didn't went through all of it. So I guess that's why. I prefer to uh, nest actions within each other, like so, because. If I ever decide to change an action, uh, uh, how to toggle VR off, for example, I can add, modify, do whatever, without having to go through every single switch action in the list and, and do the entire swap. Because that would be very inconvenient, honestly. VR off already do, did that. I can remove channel tag. VR on. VR, okay. Maybe out of action could become VR one day. I wonder if Doku ever thought of that. Honestly, if he, if he d does announce that. Um, uh, out of action becomes via a VR game. It would be amazing. Uh, Twitch out in orange. Come in a snack and a drink. Sit tight. I'll be right back. Okay. No change needed to that. 
next TTS, I break. Oh, I should have uh, asked uh, Yeko to do something for me. Decoration. Voice control. Subsocket file IO. File tail changed. Processes start stopped. Yeah, you see, we have many integration types. We have many platforms to go from. But the one thing I found weird is that they added, like, for example, for Twitch uh, connections. But chat connected, disconnected, border, broadcaster connected, disconnected, etc., 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 and so on. YouTube, same thing. Yes, same thing. Integration, uh, OBS connected, disconnected. Yet they didn't think of adding connect, disconnect for uh, for speaker bot for the um, for the bot that I made for TTSs. Which, you know, kind of disappointing because I had a few ideas about what to do with those, uh, with that kind of trigger. Like, make sure that uh, TTSs are, I don't know, recorded somehow. Uh, t uh, wait, no, TTSs submissions are recorded for later usage in the case that, for whatever reason, stream a uh, speaker bot crashes. It's, it gets disconnected, I don't notice it, and it loses the content of the queue. Instead of doing that, I, I do record, you know, the, the content and... Uh... I can somewhat... Wait, no. Yeah, I was gonna say I can technically do that if speaker bot I, I can re detect the startup of speaker bot. Not through connect disconnect, but like the executable is launched. That that I can detect through the process the process watcher. That said uh, I have variables. Persisted globals, non persisted globals. Persisted user, non persisted user globals. We're gonna wait for the ads to pass by and I'm gonna think. Actually, I'm gonna check Discord. Let's see. What's new? Let's check uh, Pirate Software's Discord. Memes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe they went there. I just want to mean that says Google turns 26 and they, the, the caption just below is Leonardo DiCaprio just switched to Bing. <laughs> <laughs> Those who know, know. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Um. You know what? We're going to move on from speak about for now because it's I don't want to think about uh, speak about too much. Uh, we're gonna do touch portal. Where the fuck is touch portal? Hello. 
Ah, there it is. Okay. So this is my deck. It's as you can see, it's not an Elgato. It's not a. Um, it's not a streamer deck. It's not a stream deck. Uh, this is Touch Portal, which is way more different than that. that. It's uh, much cheaper in the sense that it's only an app that you download on your phone or tablet. It functions on Android and Apple, and uh, iOS, I mean. Uh, but you don't have to spend 60 to 200 euros for a deck. It's your phone. It's just an app. And you are fairly limited when you get the app like that. But you can buy the license to go along with it. And it's like 15 bucks. It's it's just this. You don't have to overspend on it. And it's a very, very good solution. It's very, very customizable. I've been trying to do something to show me when a prediction ends, no one can prediction. When a prediction long, prediction locked. When a prediction begins, prediction starts. It shows me the status of an ongoing prediction. And I can see it on my phone right now, and it's really cool. If I tr um, I can show you guys that on uh, on stream. Uh, I do not have another camera to show you what's displayed on my phone. Basically, what's displayed on my phone is literally what what you see right now is what you get on your on your phone uh, screen, except there here. Right now, it displays nothing, but on the on event. Uh, reactions when a prediction begins since it's been refreshed by me running a prediction earlier uh, these have been show, showing on my on my screen so in the space here right there between bitcraft and studio mode i right now i have no ongoing prediction shown in gray so yeah it's that's how it shows uh i'm not gonna do anything with that button right now but yeah next tts also shows the same thing because the since the tts queue is empty oh right i forgot to add the yeah i'm gonna do that right there since the tts queue is empty and it detects that uh there is no tts in queue the button is off it doesn't do anything when i press on it Uh, just when button stay shade just to on. Unpressed. Yeah, right. I should add another if. Copy, paste, yes. If local state. Uh, if this button state is on. Current off. Yes, good. Copy, paste. Okay. So this way I can only press the button when it's on. If it's not on, it does nothing. It just bypasses the F. It just, yeah, it gets bounced off. The it breaks the 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 action there. But if it's on, and the TTSQ is great, uh, state is greater than zero. Wait, if the TTSQ is zero, it doesn't do anything. If it's equal to the zero, but set button state is off. Actually, I don't need it. I'm gonna leave it by safety. It's the logic works. It's not gonna break anything. I think. Wait. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's not gonna break anything. It's just. Yeah, it's an extra just in case. Uh, but in any case, when it hits there, if the SQ is greater than zero, it does this. And then once this action is done, it, because it decreases by one, 
uh, its name increment, but it decreases because I set it to minus one. If it hits here and it detects that TTSQ is equal to one, but it sets the button state to off, which uh, you know puts it in, put it's locked. The the button is locked, so it doesn't do anything. Wait, I didn't check the events when bits are received between 64 and 95, it does plus one. If TTSQ is greater than one and then zero, but set button state to on. When button state changes to off, no TTS in Q. When button state changes to on, uh, switches to next TTS. Okay, that's what you want to do. Um, apply, save, Google. I don't need the Google buttons. That said, uh, there is something I wanted to check. General. There is Twitch, but we do not have any actions relative to uh, YouTube. We have Google, because apparently for some reason the, it has buttons for whatever the head it was shown earlier. Let me see. Category of visibility. Twitch. Streaming. I don't know where it is. HTTP? No, it's not HTTP. Mm. Yeah, we have, we had, um, yeah, we have Twitch actions, so we can do stuff, and we have reactions when something happens on Twitch, which is great because I didn't want to figure out how to communicate uh, between streamer bot and and uh, touch portal. Actually, it does communicate. It communicates from touch portal to streamer bot, but not the other way around because I'm too lazy to figure out how to do that. <laughs> um, streamer bot, uh, it actually can communicate from touch portal to streamer bot because I have a plugin. That allows me to settings. Uh, where is it? Plugins. Select plugin. Touch portal. Turn about plugin. There we go. Yeah, we we have it there. It doesn't do that natively, but you can download the plugin. Uh, I don't remember where, but you can. <laughs> so that's how it communicates with uh, with to, uh, with Streamerbot. You can say go to Streamerbot, do right click, copy action ID. And when you go back on touch portal, you can run action ID and you put the, the ID of the action in there. And that's how you run actions remotely. I mean, remotely between two, two pieces of software like this. Those two specific pieces of software. <sighs> I haven't done anything yet. <laughs> Let's see, uh, game. I do not have anything in here. Scenes. Uh, we're gonna stay on scenes, and that's what we're gonna do. Uh, Voy train, Bitcraft, Steam VR, Starfield, Tarkov, Out of Action, Project Wingman. Ah, crap. I'm gonna select all of these. Copy controls. Paste seven copied buttons. And. And, 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 what are we going to name them? I'm going to remove the name, event, remove this, remove this. Uh, 
you seen. I'm going to disable those because I don't want to trigger them by accident. And actually, I'm going to delete all of these. Yes. Copy button, paste button, paste button. So I'm making one profile per game. I'm going to tell you where I do this. It's because, um, as you can see, I have elements on stream that you guys can see. But I do not wish for those elements to hinder the view of the uh, of the gameplay and the game's UI elements, like uh, the ammo counter, the, the gun in the right corner, the, the minimap, etc. So I made one profile per game in OBS uh, and every game has its own uh, window capture setup and its own layout of uh, widgets. So to make a quality preview of the of the game, I, I customize one layout for every single one of them. Copy control, paste. There we go. And I'm going to rename this rename page. Yes. Switcher. Scenes. Switch. Uh, apply. Save. Switch. Uh. Because it's not. It's not gonna do only scene switches. It's also gonna do the related action on Streamerbot to change his tag, to change tags, this kind of stuff. Copy button. We're going to move back here. Paste button. Uh, actions. Paste. What? Copy button. Actions. Paste. What? Okay, so I already switched over to this for some reason. Not sure why. Well, that will be easy then. Apply, go back, audio. I don't need the games, uh, the game page anymore. Uh, Pages. Okay, I'm gonna remove the game button. I don't need that. But I'm definitely gonna take those uh, pull buttons and put them in another uh, tab dedicated to polls. Scenes, switch. What? It's the same page? Game, scene. What? Remove current page. Yes. Switch share. Okay. That's strange. Delete game. Remove current page. Yes. Actions. Audio shout out. I'm gonna also have a page for shout outs, so presets to whoever I want to shout out. Uh, that's the info page. I've set up really, really basic stuff. I'm not sure what it's gonna be showing up. Uh, Pro it's probably going to stay in this state, honestly. And I won't even be checking it out that often, so... 
Okay, switch uh, shadows. Apply save. Info. Switch apply save. Audio. Actions. Good. Okay, all of them are on switcher now. Uh, action. Audio. Info. Shout out switcher. Okay, so I need a new page. And it's going to be the polls. Polls and predictions. Copy six synthetic controls, polls prediction. Ah, right. Forgot about that. Seven five four two. Seven five four two. Maximize button space and paste. Okay. Although hmm. I don't need all of these at the bottom. I can probably do something like next where one previews, one next and one all pages. That could be neat. That could be very neat actually. I think I'm gonna do that. Uh, pages add maximize button space for two. Was it four for the other ones? Yes, it was four. So in polls, I need to reduce that. Yeah, pages for two. Uh, grid five by three. That should be enough. Main switcher shout out actions. Audio info. Yeah. I'll figure out the order in which all of these pages have to be, but uh, for the time being, it should be enough. Uh, next TTS is gonna go actually. Second ring, your tag, drop tag. I break next TTS. BRB, mute mic, mute Discord. Studio mode, waiting room. Uh, not the waiting room, but the starting soon. No, not it. Not it yet. Uh, all of these are gonna go. Copy night selected controls into actions. Paste and copy buttons. I'm not sure I'm gonna keep the studio mode here. Okay, so this is uh, an announcement button. BRB, mute mic, mute discord. VR tag, drops tag, next TTS. Uh, 
copy button paste button mute via mic via source via mic apply save and close so if i press actions on my phone yes it does show the page as intended which is good that's what we want Uh, let's go back to the main page. Uh, these run action Dakov tall. Right, I need to fetch escape from Dakov, copy action ID, Dakov tall. I'm gonna. It should be the same action, it shouldn't have changed. Okay, I think it changed actually. <laughs> Stream about. Escape from Dakov, copy action ID. Just to be sure. Okay, it's the right one. Save and close. Out of action. Out of action. Copy action ID. Yeah, the, the ID changed as well. I wonder why. Project Wingman Paul. It's not the. F oh my god, I'm sorry stupid it's not the damn uh prediction action god damn it dark raid copy action idea wait no copy action idea Kaleras! welcome welcome to today's stream happy to see you here just here to ask you if you found them to watch the Nivali stream. I did. I did watch it at the end of the of the stream yesterday, as promised, and I really liked it. It was really, really, really impressive, dude. You know, when I saw the scene in which there, uh, there, I saw there would be fishing, I instantly thought of the recent trailer for No Man's Sky because they just uh, added fishing as well. <laughs> Out of action. As you can see, I'm uh, hard at work at um, Project Action, Project Ringman, at uh, tweaking my streaming setup. Project Ringman, Paul, and Paul. Wait, no. Copy action ID. Well, right now it got nothing. Prediction, get active prediction. No Man's Sky, get great redemption story of a game. Mm, great redemption story of a studio. But yeah, I see what you mean. Absolutely. It's incredible where they came from and where they are right now. When you compare the, the, the early version of the game to what it is right now, the it's night and day. You you would think it's been made by two different studios. Tarkov. I'm gonna keep it like this. Apply. Project Wingman. And. Pre uh pre on prediction event right when a prediction ends oh i'm gonna copy uh some parts of the Wait, no, not just some parts. I'm going to copy most of the button that I was trying to use. Uh, you haven't saved changes. Do you want to save these changes? Yes. Main. Uneven. Right. 
this is the server. I'm going to copy the button right away. I'm going to change the title. Uh, Pal states. Copy button. Actually, this is going to go to the info tab as well. Paste. Uh, Pal status. Uh, pages, poll predictions. Wait, what? Info. Copy button. Poll prediction. Paste button. Good. You may not see it, but on my stream, on my uh, phone, it looks um, drastically different. It's not just written poll status. It actually shows the current status of the, if there is a, a prediction or not. Actually, it's not poll status, it's prediction status. When a prediction begins, there we go. Um, an event, when a prediction begins, font icon, full size icon orientation, I'm not going to touch that. Uh, I'm gonna start a prediction real quick. Yes. No. Test. Submission. Confirm prediction. Got it. Right. Prediction starts. Okay, it's not start, it's prediction started. Apply. Save. An event. Prediction locked. We're going to wait for the remaining 10 seconds of the prediction to end. Prediction locked. Good. Okay. And if I uh change choose outcome test complete prediction complete prediction no one going prediction good good started prediction started prediction locked no ongoing prediction. Uh, I'm going to put that in green. Apply. Save. Yeah, no, it's going to be awful. Okay. Uh, what else could I change here? So actions, audio, there is nothing yet. Uh, 
Although, yes, those copy copy three selected controls, audio, paste three copied buttons. I'm probably gonna reduce if I don't think I will have a whole lot of um, hmm. I don't think I will have a whole lot of um, audio actions so I'm probably gonna have to reduce the size of this page anyway and I would, since I will move with the previous next uh, pages buttons um, this is probably gonna help keep it compact. And you info poll status okay switcher so we've got void train bitcraft steam vr starfield tarkov out of action project man void train starfield since those games i haven't been playing for a while now Steam VR, Bitcraft, Project Wingman, Tarkov. I'm not um, particularly ordering in a specific order. I just feel like this is something more appropriate considering how, how often I use those. And yeah, it does appear updated as intended on my phone. All of, all of these are disabled anyway, so yeah. Is is not okay. Vertical text position left. Okay, center, middle. Void train. Middle center. Wait a minute. I know what I did. Delete. Yes. Okay. Event. Middle. Center. The center apply void train. I wanted to do that same middle center. Okay, it did update it. I needed to change pages on my phone, but it did update. Project Wingman. 
really great game. But boy, am I shit, shit at it. <laughs> like, Christ. It's... Okay, I am good at this game, but in VR, it's significantly harder than it looks. Since you have to, you know, look around everywhere, you, you, even though I played this game in first person in, with the cockpit view, and it was also with controller, so. Center. Let's see. Copy style. If I paste scene, Tarkov, middle, left. Okay. Paste style. Nah, didn't change anything. Which is quite annoying. I could probably have middle state uh, touch portal device ID no and page changes no local value no it would be useful if it just took the name of the of the OBS scene That would be useful. <laughs> Middle center. Middle center. Okay. Apply, save. Middle center. Middle center. So this way, I just have to copy the one button that I've done right and paste it everywhere, and that should do the trick afterwards. On event scene is preview scene. I'm gonna put X in the middle, middle center. The center preview scene. Okay, apply, save, close. What's this? That's the thing from earlier. Delete button. Yes. Let's just make sure though. Set scene, preview scene, connection ID. Okay, it's empty for because there is no reason for having an ID right now. Middle center, middle center, X, X, okay. So D, it's a generic button that has practically no purpose. Copy, button, paste, button, paste, button, paste, button. Copy, paste, 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 and paste. And I just have to copy one more time. There we go. So if I update, crap. Yep, okay. My phone updated, so it shows what I wanted to show. Now, uh, pulse. Run action ID. Yeah, it's gonna do the exact same thing. Unpressed. Unevent. Yeah. Paste button slider. Okay, run action uneven. Copy all. Uh, 
uh, and I'm gonna change the if statements that should do what I want it to do no wait yes on event paste yes apply save copy style paste style okay prediction event when a prediction begins delete yes copy paste delete Okay, when a prediction uh, ends, it changes to when it ends, when button Toggle button set button state. When button state changes, okay. Delete, yes. When button state changes to on, I want this to show whatever the name of the game is. Text color. Black and for the colors, I want this and I want that. Okay, so this is what I want it to look like when it's on. Apply just to be sure. When the prediction ends, it resumes looking gray. Gray. Apply. Save. Unpressed. Unpressed. When a prediction ends, set button state to off. Yes. Unpressed. Set button state to on and stream about action. Run action by ID. And I've disabled this for the time being. So copy button, paste button, pulse predictions. Go to Pulse and Predictions, Apply, Save, Close. Copy button. I go to the main page. Okay. Switcher, same thing. Pulse and Predictions, so I switch there. And if I start a prediction, yes. No. Start prediction. Got it. It's going to run for 30 seconds, and when it stops, prediction status uneven. Another 10 seconds. Prediction locked. Okay. Manage prediction. Choose outcome. Yes. Complete prediction. And it shuts off. Good. So it does what he wanted to do. 
So I can delete this, copy button, paste button, paste button, paste button. I'm going to start with this for now. Paste button. So copy, close, paste, move this here, delete, yes, and it's going to be Tarkov. Delete, move this here, good. Run action ID, copy. Uh, was it out of action? Yes. Project Greenman. I save and prediction. Uh, I'm probably going to have to reserve a few buttons on the side. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Yes. Control. I'm going to add another page, actually. This is what it's going to do. Hmm. Forms. So basically what's going to happen is when I press one of those buttons, it's going to start the related poll and it's going to instantly move me over to the control page. Those are the just manual buttons. This one won't be here. This one will be here. And when I go to the, when I will be moved to the control page, the poll button will be there and the control button will not. I will have prediction status and I will have the buttons through, for example, answer, first answer, second answer, third answer, etc. Oh man, that's a lot of work right there. <laughs> but hey, I had to do it at a moment or another, so. Rename page. In a page, uh, yes, I want this, this to be the poll, polls page. I want, I want this to be, you cannot add a page with giving it a name. Oh, okay. Poll prediction control. Rename, yes, predictions, good. Copy button, paste, paste, second. Paste. Okay.
Oh yeah, I know. Go to page, copy, paste, and poll prediction control. Apply, copy, So I can really delete all of these. Copy, paste, 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 paste. And now they all automatically toggle to the pod prediction control. Uh, prediction status. Pulse and prediction. Copy three selected controls. <sighs> Part of the prediction status goes here. This is the button that sends back to the control page. Wait, no, that's not the one I wanted to have. Okay, poll prediction status and prediction control. Polls. button, paste button. Poll predictions, delete, yes. Predictions, poll prediction control. This. I mean, did go to the prediction, apply, save, close. Uh, and prediction. And First answer. Apply. Answer two. Answer three. Answer four. Answer five. Answer six. We're gonna stop at six because it's already too much. We could actually go uh, to eight. Okay, here is the thing. Polls can only go to five answers. Prediction, however, for some reason, allow to allow allow for up to ten re results. I'm not sure why they thought it would be necessary to add that, but they did. So, it's a seven apply. It's a eight. Pulse prediction and prediction copy button copy uh, paste and 
pardon. I'm gonna delete that. I'm disabling it for now, but I have the full f in Streamerbot has the full feeder set for pulls. Terminate active pull. Yeah, we can terminate it. Pulls. Get active pull, create pull. Okay, okay, active pull. I don't know what it does when it gets archived. I'm just gonna put it there. We're gonna see what it does. I'll read the documentation on what it does, what it does not. And Paul, action status button, paste, Paul status, apply. Okay, when a prediction begins, on Paul event. Paul begins, okay. Paul started, apply. Copy, paste. Uh, when a package ends. On coin pull, apply. When a prediction locks, it says when pull progresses, but I don't know what it means. Let's uh, open documentation. Wait, was that the ads? Yes, it's the ads. Okay, so from right I read, the local states listed below are being passed along with the event when the event is triggered. They can be used to act on the specific of the triggered events. Paul ongoing. When Paul begins, Paul started. Uh, you know what? We're going to move to the Hmm. Apply. Save and close. Predictions. Page uh, main. Copy button. Info pages. Paste button, prediction, okay, switch, paste button, so if I, what? Prediction control crap.
Friday. Okay. Twitch. Yes, Twitch. Action set. Shield mode. Shout out announcement. Switch subscriber only in chat. Switch with IEP status of user. Streamer profile pick URL to value. What? From Twitch user. Delete. I have no idea what that does. Action. Go to page polls. It, it's empty for now. Which is what we want. Page. Go to page. Choose page. Control. Apply. Save. Okay. Prediction control. Prediction and polls. Prediction page setting. Duplicate page. Poll. Rename page because I forgot it's plural. Copy uh, Yes, I wanted to go to prediction because we are on the poll page. And prediction polls I wanted to go to the polls page. Good. So prediction goes to prediction, polls go to polls, save. Prediction goes to polls, polls go to prediction. Polls go to prediction. What the prediction? I think. Let me refresh my page. Prediction control. Pull. Yeah, okay, now it switches properly as intended. Apply, okay. The pulse page. All of this is getting deleted. Yes. I probably won't need a pulse for this. Actually, yes, I will probably need some, some, but for the time being, no. Okay, so action is disabled. Switch button state to on, prediction pulse. When button state changes to on, when a poll ends is what we need. When a poll event. When a poll event. Set button state to off. Delete. Yes. Apply. Button, paste, paste, paste. When a prediction begin, ball started. Wait, actually, no, I have that on the prediction control. Ball status, yeah. 
pal begins, pal progresses, pal ends. I'm still not sure what the what the pal progress is. I'm gonna copy the button. It got what I need, so if we really, really a need to paste pal status event when pal begins, what pal progresses. When Paul ends. Okay, so for the sake of the uh, of, our, of the argument, we're gonna start a poll right now. Manage goals. What's your poll? Uh, new poll question test. Yes, no. Hello, additional votes, duration, one minute, start poll. Oh, I can see the stats live. That's nice. And Paul? No one going in Paul. Okay. And I can have a browser source for that? Yo! I'm going to paste that in uh, Discord so I can fetch it back later. I didn't know that. This is awesome. Okay, I'm gonna put that there. I didn't know that, and that was a okay. New poll test. Yes, no. I'm gonna start another one. Start poll. Poll started. So it did. Yeah, when poll begin, that's what it did. Good. Let's see. What? Okay. Okay, it briefly showed when Paul end for whatever reason I'm not sure why but then once I voted it did show poll ongoing the the state I've set up as poll ongoing so good okay let's do another one new poll test yes no Start poll. Okay, the poll started. I'm gonna wait 20 seconds, see what happens. See if it redo no ongoing poll again. Okay, vote. Okay, as soon as I vote, it didn't show uh, no poll ongoing then. But yeah, as soon as I voted, it went on in poll ongoing mode. So that's good. That's what we want. This is this is really satisfying to see it work. Page setting can remove that. And we'll have three buttons, main, previews, next. Menu. Okay.
So these two show the status. Prediction starting. And submission, prediction locked. Choose outcome, yes. Complete prediction, yes. No ongoing prediction, good. The status works as intended. Ah, boy, do I love when something works. Okay, prediction have no action yet for the time being. So this is gonna be disabled and par. Okay, this is not and it's lock. Log prediction and poll. Okay. We can end poll actually. Uh, where is streamer bot? I don't need the global variables anymore. Uh, predictions. Polls. Uh, and poll. Q. Triggers, okay. And prediction, get active prediction. That's okay. And poll, twitch, polls, terminate active poll. Triggers, uh, copy action ID. And poll, enable this, paste this, apply, save, close. Good. And there was something we saw earlier. Uh, and event when button state changes, anonymous value, Twitch, Rowers. I think this is all the values you can get out of Twitch. We can't have the value of the shit. Pal pal event when pal ends. Value clipboard. Star counts content of the clip one to value. No, that's not the one I wanted. Calculate the value plus Twitch. Yeah, bits, channel points, chat, last message off. Last person off. Last broadcaster chats in there. Last mod chats in there. Last staff chats in there. Last subscriber. Last VIP. Twitch chat message number zero. Twitch chat message sender number zero. I have no idea what the hell are those. Whisper. Last of person, last of person, last stage, subscriber, gifts, a bomb, gifts, a bomb, gifter, gifts, a bomb, amount, Twitch, last subscriber, last re subscriber, last Twitch gifts, uh, Twitch subs gifter, Twitch subscriber count, followers, Twitch follower count, raid, 
Twitch hosted by. Yeah, there's no apparent way to do what I wanted to do, but it's fine. page Pred for predictions okay prediction status and then everything here gets deleted Delete 12. Okay. I'm going to go back to prediction here. Duplicate page. Poll. Poll status. Crap. God damn it. I can't cancel that. Nah, I can't. And Paul copy button. Paste. Wait. Copy. And Paul copy button. Paul paste button. Lead, yes. Head log prediction copy button paste button control to go to control, okay. Copy button. Predictions to go to Pred, apply, save, close. Polls to go to Poll, apply, save, close. Paste button. Copy buttons. Delete, yes. Delete, yes. And put control on top. Copy buttons. Yeah, that seems appropriate. Balls. Um. Delete page. Yes. Copy button. Paste button. This way I can go back, you know. <laughs> Would be kind of uh, annoying if I were uh, stuck in there. Predictions. Eight controls, predictions, red. There we go.
actually log partition goes here and we'll delete this up down Previous page, next page, up, down for more and more. I will keep this uh, lay, uh, this overlay, this uh, pattern here, and I will take all of these and paste them uh, on on in multiple page. Once I fill this one out, I will create another page and up and down will switch between the two. Hmm. Uh, copy three selected controls, polls and poll. Okay. So I prediction. I ah, write the page still exists. prediction control okay this is updated so I can switch over okay prediction status prediction poll status poll control prediction Control, menu. Okay, weirdly enough, menu does not work. Okay, ah, it's because I didn't update it everywhere. Main goes to, to main. Okay, copy button, menu, paste button. Okay, and in control, paste button. Okay. Seems like a plan. Hmm. Wait, this is control. I don't need that. Yeah. Okay. So I can prediction pride. Yeah. Okay. I can. I can delete this page now. Wait. Just gonna make sure though. Yes. I have the the action ID, but then state go to pull prediction control, and it's set. Ah shit. Daka unevented. Daka. Uh, apply, save, close, out of action. Right. This is something I forget to do. It's basic, but when the button is disabled, you need to know what state it is in. And when it's in, yeah. Whichever state it is in, you need to know what it corresponds to. So, proper label of the damn thing is kind of kind of basic. 
when a prediction ends, I don't know. Ah, but it needs the same. Yeah, it needs everything here. Yes. Delete. Log prediction. When the prediction ends, no ongoing prediction. Okay. Ads. Copy button. Version control. When version st state changes to on, when a prediction ends. Based uh, and set button state. Prediction and set button state to on. Wait, no, it's when it starts. When the prediction progresses, that's what I want, need to have. Copy button, prediction, paste button. When button is pressed, yeah, when button is pressed, it's supposed to do an action to come uh, action. I can't make a statement in here. Note. Crap. This is disabled for now. Apply, save, and close. Follow and follow. Lock prediction. Okay. When a prediction progresses, stay to on. When the instant stage changes to on, lock prediction. When a prediction and no ongoing prediction. Set button state to off. And the action that's going to be triggered is going to end the prediction. When it's done, then the button will switch to off. Does the end pull here does nothing? And Paul here does nothing as well. Crap. Okay. Well, I needed to do the exact same thing. Copy button, paste button, and Paul. Apply, save, and close. Copy. 
delete. Yes. That one ends polls, I believe. Stream on bot and poll, terminate poll. Copy action ID. I'm going to paste that just to be sure. Yes. When a prediction on poll event. When a poll ends. No ongoing poll. Well, realistically, it would be when it begins. Yeah, when the poll begins, I can set it to on. Set button stay to on. Button stay, yeah. No ongoing poll, set button stick to off. Yeah. Delete, move this here, copy button, poll, paste button, and it does what I need it to. Should be doing what I need it to. Key difference. Uh, I do not have any pulse set up because honestly, I don't, I don't have the uh, the audience to make use of it yet. Hopefully one day. But hey, even if I don't, I will have tools to share with other streamers. Hopefully they will have better, make better use of them than than I. In fact, I could even have a super complex button that detects which scene OBS is on and offer which... Oh my god, it's genius. Yeah, I could do that, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> I don't wanna do it now. It could even be condensed in a single button. It detects which scene OBS is on, enables the use of the right uh, streamer bot uh, action set to start the corresponding poll or uh, prediction. As soon as the prediction starts, it waits for a status update on its existence to um, allow for lock prediction or end poll. And then... It changes depending on the, on the scene it's set on. Yeah, it's... It's genius. My genius sometimes. It's frightening. <laughs> A 
it wasn't centered. I see it now. Button background, background visible. Oh, cool. Copy style, paste style. This is actually very useful to have because I don't see the, the limitations of the buttons on my uh, phone screen. And it's, uh, well, it's not unusual, but it's um, an inconvenience. I don't need to do that on operation status because they already have their, their uh, set borders. Uh, when they change colors, you can see them anyway, so. Function control. Okay. That's weird. It doesn't display on my end. Function, yes. It sends to the right button. It sends to, to the right page. Okay, so those are set. Shout out. So we've got Zozo, Liam, Hope. Uh, nothing is set right now. There is nothing behind, be, besides the names. We've got Kovu. We've got... Who else do we have? Let me see my uh, stream page. Wait, Sarah is streaming right now? Let's see the lives. Huh, okay, well, she is streaming. Voices of the Void. Oh, that's the game that um, Dex was streaming the other day. I should really get that game. And Limes is playing Astrobot. I've never seen anyone play Astrobot. <laughs> okay, Dex. Wait. Dex. God damn it. Dex. Who else could we add in there? Let me see. Uh... Well, I don't know that many streamers personally. These are the ones I know the best. I mean the best. As yeah, I know everyone more or less.
Yeah, don't have many people to put in there. So the switcher is ready. I'm gonna put those like so. Let me check the logic again. No BSC is active. Yeah, okay. Local state, but unpressed. That is in state. Add a dynamic text variable. I kind of wished it would show its own. Um, you know the button state here, button text here. I would like for it to show its own button uh, button text. Like I changed the text here and it shows here and here, no matter what, because that's what I wanted to show, nothing else. Uh, the dynamic state uh, local values. If I put nothing, does it? To oh, um, test apply. Okay, yeah, it shows the text. Okay. Set that with Project Wingman and see what happens. Let's see. Nice! It keeps the, the text. Good! Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> it's It was a pain in the ass. Ah, oh, crap. If only I knew about this before. An event. Tarkov. Tarkov. Apply. Save and close. Bitcraft. Event. Delete this. Delete this. Apply. Save and close. Out of action. Delete. Delete, apply, so and close. Starfield, delete, delete, apply, save, close, void, train. Text size, auto. Uh, I'll keep that. Wait. Okay. Come on, Firefox. Delete all these controls, select this. Text. Text. Text color. Background color. Okay. Copy button. Copy paste. Hmm. 
Fallen predictions. Reviews main text. Okay. Uneven. Well, there is nothing to do here. Predictions. Nothing to do here too. Uh, pause. Even text. Text. Apply. Save and close. button paste button Copy. okay that's for the polls for predictions apply save and close Wait, no. Apply seven close, copy button. Should not have, yes. Okay, good. Log prediction on event when button state changes to on, log prediction, no ongoing prediction. Good. No ongoing poll because it's gray and button is set to off. Save and close, previews, main, next, control. So satisfying when it does what I want it to do. Prediction started. Prediction logs, no ongoing prediction. Poll started. Poll ongoing, no ongoing poll. Okay. So this is practically finished. Mm. Main switch your actions, shout out. Info, prediction, audio. Let's go to the audio page. Mute Discord, mute mic, view VR mic. Previous main uh, up and down. Copy. Those can be deleted. The bill right back stays there. Yes. Down, main, previous, next. Review, up, down, previous, main, next. Okay. I 
I'm gonna find which Chevelard that I want the, these to be displayed in so that previews goes to the previews page and next goes to the next page. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be in alphabetic order. I'll figure out something. Main goes to main, switcher goes to switcher, shadow goes to shadow, action goes to action, audio goes to audio, pull prediction control, info. Up, down, main, previous, next. Pulse status, delete. Prediction control, copy. Info, prediction status, pulse status. We can make sliders apparently. I'm not sure what it what should it do. I can I can modify the value on my phone, you guys can't see it, but the only problem I have is that it's fairly small. And I have no no way to return it between several buttons. Bit an image background setting cell size. That's how it works. Oh, that's how it works. How did I not know this before? <laughs> oh shit. I'm so pissed off. Oh, I'm so pissed off. <laughs> okay. There is nothing to keep here. Uh, let's go back to the main menu, audio. Oh, I know what they're gonna do. Audio. Mic. Mic, this. VR mic, Discord. Uh, copy button, paste button. Mute. Music. Resource uh, some alert which will have music. Save and close. Uh, put button slider. Icon settings. Apply. Oh, okay. Slider. Wait, no, we're gonna slide. Um, OBS streaming set source volume. Mic, apply, save, close. Inlay value area. Rounded corners. Use food area to slide. Orientation vertical, yes. Side margins. Endpoint margins. 
Oh, that's uh, yeah, that reduces the overall size. Container area, value area, location, background visible. No, location, title hidden, top. Oh, okay, it goes on top. I see. Bottom, no, I don't need a title. Italy Center. Hmm, Mike, okay. Show shadow. I don't know what kind of shadow it should show. And we've got ads. Text alignment. Right. Location, font, text color, white, text alignment, text size. We don't have text orientation? I can't make text along the, the damn thing? That's annoying. Um, I don't need text, but that's, yeah. Slider, size, three, apply. Oh, okay, it's a text shadow. It wasn't any other form of shadow. Text, hidden, center. I'm going to disable the shadow just in case because, yeah. Delete, copy slider, paste slider. Paste slider, paste slider. So this is for the VRM. Where is it? VR mic. Apply, save. Discord, apply. Music. Copy button, paste button, and for the sake of doing so, TTS. Copy slider, paste slider, and this is set to TTS. TTS is set to the max. VR mic is set to minus four decibels. On source, what? Hello? Nice.
uh, uneven. Let's see. Uh, source that is source uh, mute state. When OBS becomes unmuted. When OBS else can becomes unmuted. Um, set button state. Uh, apply. Let's see. Paul. Copy. Audio. Mute mic. Event. Paste. Text size. Font unbounded. Text color white. Wait a minute. transparent background uh, becomes muted gray white yes Okay, it does change the state of the button, but copy, paste becomes unmuted. Copy, paste. I wanted to do the opposite. And eighty six, eight six six C. That is the annotation is good. Transferring background, background visible. Oh, okay. Center, middle, yes. Text vertical offset six, horizontal offset zero. We wouldn't have any offset. That makes no sense. Text size sixteen. I'm going to leave it on auto, see how it plays. No, it's small. Event text size mute vertical text position. I'm gonna trash that as well. The alignment text color. Well, in that case, it's really not what you want. Apply save close. If I remove this, okay.
suppose. Yes. It does the thing. Good. Now I just need to copy all of this. Copy, apply, save and close. Yes. I want it to when VR mic changes. When this card changes to this card, music, and TTS. I don't think I will ever need to change that one, but you know, just in case having a mute button for the TTS can come in handy. And the slider have updated themselves to the value that are already set in OBS, so that's just perfect. Awesome. And, uh,. Right, apply, left. I'm so tired I managed to actually mistake my right from my left. Holy shit, I'm tired. paste. Now I don't think it's going to be about music. Like, apply, save and close, and this one is disabled for the time being. Actually, delete, delete, copy, shit, paste, two copy buttons. There we go. So whenever I have a audio source to toggle, modify, tweak, or something. It's right there. One day you will have uh, some preview of my phone for you guys to show the application, how it looks in the application. For now, I don't have anything of the sort. And I just realized it, oh, it's midnight here, so I think I'm gonna uh, end the stream there. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna end the stream there. And we're gonna raid. Where are we gonna raid? We are going oh damn, we've we've been here so long that the full OST of Rajat and Kang Kwan played. <laughs> well, eleven minutes left, but eh, you know. Raid channel, let's see where we're gonna raid. We're gonna raid mm. Let's see who's live. We're going to read, read limes. Let's see. Let's see. Astrobot. She's streaming. So that's what we're, that's what we're going to see. I never played Astrobot. I know it's the thing that PlayStation made. 
as a kind of vitri um, showcase, uh, vitrine uh, in, in French, uh, to, I don't know, I, I have no idea, honestly. <laughs> like, it's the one standout game they have to make. Well, that's what they did. Wait, why is the raid not firing up? Hello? Start raid? You are ready? Okay, well, I really need to update my display. What the hell is going on, Firefox? Why are you doing? Why are you doing this? Ah, oh, gosh, damn it! I'm gonna kill Firefox. And I'm gonna spawn it again. There we go. Back to the stream manager and see you people tomorrow, I guess. Right. Goodbye, everyone. Have fun.